Not just yet. Hey everybody, T1 Glistener Elf here with... T1 So Futuristic! She and, I, she and I are showing off our Sonic mask. I have Sonic and Knuckles and Tails and Rings, and she has... I have Sonic, Amy, there's Sonic again, <laughs> there's Shadow, there's Knuckles, <laughs> there's Robotnik. That's right. <laughs> All cool. the characters. <laughs> you requested for there to be Sonic and Amy on there. You requested, I just passed it along. <laughs> you just passed it along. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you like it very, very much. Oh. <clears throat> All right, we can keep it up if you like. It's fun to show it off. All right, so this is the FNM at Home Mastermind uh, event. For those that don't know how this works, basically you have no lands in your deck. In order to get a lands token, you have to discard a card from your hand, and it just simply becomes a land token. Now, I am not going to go through every single one of the 200 cards in here, but 1080p, and uh, pause if you need to, which I am sure that you will need to. Scroll down a bit. All right, and uh, yeah, I'm. I'm not going to go through everything here, but the yeah, first column is one drops, then two, three, four, five, and then six and beyond. Uh, with some weird exceptions, like depose and deploy, which have a total CMC of six or greater. That one looks weird. It does, doesn't that it? One. Uh, no. This one? That one looks weird. Oh, that's a Vidalkin. It's kind of like an alien, a little bit. It's weird card. Yeah, I suppose. Alright, so let's submit that and jump right on in. So I'm going to just play until I get two wins. That's it, just two wins. You like your mask, don't you? Mm-hmm. Alright. Let's see, it's us versus... I don't even know how to pronounce that, I apologize. I'm sorry, Ajani. Okay. This looks... Oh yeah, there's no need to mulligan. This looks fine. Everything here looks okay. Hmm. Let's see. How is yours pronounced? That one pronounced. That, oh, that's Karn. I'm trying to figure out which one is the one I can get rid of first. Yes, I know. We're already off to a great start. Hmm. Huh. I'm going to say Ferocious Pup. Right, and then pass. This is going to be tricky. So I think that the game plan right now is Grateful Apparition, Hydra's Growth, and just try to win on that. And I can grant a creature indestructible. So hopefully that will get us there. You may sacrifice it when you do destroy... Oh, uh-oh. Uh oh. Well, that actually puts a bit of a puts me in a bit of a pickle, doesn't it? Okay. Well, that does destroy a creature, and I might actually end up needing that. That's a decent win con on its own. Man, there's so many decisions I could make here. All right. Let's put this out. Hopefully, Apparition can, when it deals damage, it'll get an extra counter from Hydra's Grub. Well, I have to be careful They're here. They're out-counted. They're out-counted? Yeah. We have three and they have... Now they're yep. non-counted. Now they're even. Now yep. they're even. Okay, this is bad. This, this would no, it's still okay. be bad. It's okay. But we can do this. I believe in us. I believe in us, too. Exile target creature proliferate. Hmm. Let's see. I'm not sure what's right here. I'm not really going to be playing Tybalt too much. I, I guess I can. I have a Planeswalker, so I guess I can do that. Alright, so we'll play Tybalt. Activate the ability, put out a 1-1, one, one, 
attack and proliferate. Yep, just you. It's not the same thing, but I would like to be able to find a way to kill this intruder first. And right now the only ways I have to do that are Ob and Wanderer's Strike. Ob! Yep. Uh-oh, that's not good. Well, I can't block. Oh wait, no, I can block with this. That's right. Huh. Block. Block, you say? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, maybe I need to save that. No, it's fine, it's fine. Because it has to deal combat damage to a player. Boom, there we go. Okay, so what is this? Turn target instruments, okay, nope. Uh, get rid of that. Hydra's growth. Can we do our packs? Yes. Oh, that's right. I have some packs to uh, to give out as well. We can do that either in the middle of the, in the video or not at the middle of the video. <laughs> that's right. I know what you mean. Which one do you choose? We can, we'll do it after our first win. I actually have some to pull up in a bit. That's a good idea, Evangeline. That's a good reminder. In fact, let me pull it up right now. It's what okay. are you doing? Oh, Emil the Blessed. Exile another creature you control and return to... Okay, so it lets you blink. And then whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay that. Alright, so obviously we're going to block here. So I don't lose my Hydra's Growth. Go right at them. Does this thing have flying? It does not. Okay. Hmm... Secure the scene. Exile target non-land permanent. I, w I don't know that that's as great as this. Alright. Okay, so there's that. Destroy target creature. Its controller draws two cards. I don't know about that. No matter what, we're going to activate this. Then Wander Strike. I say we just uh, exile Emil, then proliferate. Good. All right. <laughs> We're actually winning, Evangeline. We're winning. Yay! So far, so good. Two megabytes for us and <laughs> one megabyte for them. Two me yeah, two megabytes and one megabyte. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! Meme. They're actually going to take control of our creature here. That's not good. Why do they have it now? This planeswalker here lets them take control of it. <sighs> so they get to take out Tybalt. Put an extra counter on Ongroth. How do they get to do that? They just straight out. Um, two, so they did. They're down to one, two. Yeah, that's true. Three, four. Five is one. Valor no, stance. Three. Yeah, three and then one. So yeah, they have four cards. All right. I don't like to do this, but do what you have to do, I guess. They get to draw two extra cards, unfortunately. Oh wow, they're down to seven? Yep, they sure are. We might just win. I hope so. Alright. If they play a creature, I can kill it again, draw, make them draw cards, and make them lose life. But I did just give them some extra cards, so that's more, that's more that they can use to get out of this. Get out of this spot. Huh. That's not great. I'll do my best, Evangeline. I'll try my best. Uh-oh. <gasps> we won! We won! Yeah, they just blew up themselves because they kind of knew that they were kind of... Yeah, they weren't in a good spot at that point. All right, I'm glad we you... We weren't in a good spot either. Oh, we were okay. We now. were okay, but we weren't in... 
Shout outs mm -hmm. to uh, Elder Dragon Headquarters on. Actually, let's look at this first. So we got a Death's Oasis. Whenever a non token creature you control dies, mill two cards. They return a creature card with lesser CMC than that creature um, that died from the graveyard to your hand. Okay, that's interesting. And then this is just the regular one I get for. I've already done four today. Alright, so real quick, let's go over to our. Let's take our break in the middle of it, of this. And Elder Dragon Headquarters on Twitter. So at Elder underscore Head. Uh, had a giveaway for a pre release promo code. And lo and behold, I ended up winning it. So thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you like it when I hold you, right? Yeah, I'm kind of sweaty. I'm sorry. I'm putting this in now. I don't think that it can work for anyone else. I guess you're welcome to try, but I don't think that it does. Alright, here we go. Six new packs of Ikoria. We'll open them after our next win. Oh, you said one win. Would you like to open some now? Uh, we can open a little bit now. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. So, you can do it. It's open a little bit now. Alright. Do one now and open the rest later. Yeah. Oh, another voracious great shark. Good, that makes my second one. This one, by the way, is a uh, fox and falco. Totally. It's, it's a fox bird. It's someone over at... A few different people, actually, over at Wizards play Smash Bros. And particularly Melee. So... I am not surprised at all to see a fox bird. This is just Spacey's the card. Uh, all right, so we'll we'll open the What's rest. That? Oh, that's. Oh, I'm sorry. The well, I one. We'll give it another. I'll give it a look in a bit. The I one. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I went through a little too quickly, didn't I? Mm, I'm sorry. I sawies. I sawies. Nightwing six hundred six. Okay. One of them is face palming. All right, so let's Which see. Which one is face palming? Oh, uh, this one seems good. There's a bunch of these that seem good. Beginning of your instep is the one on the right. Uh, beginning of your instep, if it wasn't kicked, sack it. Doesn't seem great. Ooh, can I touch your little doggy? Sure. If it was kicked. Mm. Unless you have to kick it for three. Spell gorge are weird. That doesn't seem great. All right, so we'll get rid of this one. But what is the Mad Ratter? Whenever you draw your second card each turn... Actually, that one's probably... Probably less good. In a format like this. Uh, Reese seems okay. Reese seems really interesting. But I guess we'll start off with an All Seed. Oh, don't be careful not to pick at your toes. Is that from where you were over there and it kind of wore your toes down a bit? Be careful, honey, okay? Yes, pretty, pretty, please. Goody, goody gumdrops. <laughs> goody, goody gumdrops. <laughs> it's a funny thing to say, I guess. Okay. Remember these crystals? I do, yeah. Oh. Can I touch some of the crystals? Go for it. Absolutely. Oh. They do make some little sparkles, don't they? Uh-oh. Glorious Anthem again. Oh, well, that's not good. Alright, they're probably going to attack here. Uh-oh. Well, this isn't good. So I guess I could go... I'm sorry, just a moment, please. Let me think. I could go Wildwood Scourge and then Voracious Hydra. That would be interesting. Yeah, Weird doesn't look like it has a lot of things going on for it. So we will get rid of this and play a Scourge on two, I believe is correct. Then I could play a Hydra big enough to kill this thing. Although the longer I wait, the better. I can also just hold up Lightning Strike. And I can also hold up playing a creature out with Reese. There's a bunch of things I could do here. I could play a Kraken. I think Kraken would be good. I think that you're right. We'll do Kraken. 
it's a 2-3 that favorably blocks that, and it gives me some value. Oh, can you stop for just a second, please? Because it keeps bringing my mouse over there. Post some postal encounter and create a... Okay, now you can do it. Actually, that works really well with Reese. The Kraken and Reese. Ooh, that's a really strong combo. Sure, go for it. Oh, you mean that side of me. Oh, she's going around. Oh, let me scooch over. Ooh, it's Mongara the Diplomat. Can I do it now? Cast their second spell each turn. Oh, uh, yes, I will pay one. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, which is Cauldron? Oh, stop, stop, please. Sorry, just a moment. I need to focus. Blade Wing. That doesn't work with Reese, though. I'm sorry, Evangeline. Um, can I hold up the lightning strike? Can play out the cauldron, which I'm going to end up doing anyway. Yeah, this lets me hold up strike as well. I'm sorry, Evangeline. Can I do it yet? Uh, yes, now you may. <laughs> So, uh, it's just that whenever you move the mouse, whenever you click like that, see how it moves the mouse for us? Now you're good. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun with that. Why, they are thinking. Hello, how are you? Won't you tell me your name? They are thinking hard. Uh oh! Wait, 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 wait! I need to think. Let me let me stop and think. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do much from here. Activate this. Get you. Gain a life and draw a card. All right. That's unfortunate. Well, at least we got some value out of that, and we'll continue as it goes on. At least she only has one card out. That's on true. The deck. Except for those, at least she has one. Yeah. On the board. They probably thought that they had to do that. That if they didn't, that they were in trouble. Which is true. All right. Okay. One, and then four. Just be careful about doing that too much, honey. You don't want to make it any worse, I wouldn't think. I, it is a little risky not playing the Ozolith first, just in case they are able to kill it. I think you should do it. Yeah. I think you should do the Ozolith. Yeah, I maybe should have. I also didn't leave up enough mana to use Witch's Cauldron. Ooh, Palaka. Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't have enough mana for that. Elite Guard Mage. That's interesting. I like that. What is mana? Oh, mana is the mana is the resource in this game that lets you play your cards. Whenever it dies, return it to its owner's hand. Hmm. Okay. So I can play the Ozolith first. Ozolith. And then I can play Voracious. I don't think playing Voracious would be a good idea. Probably. Actually, yeah, I can probably wait. We can go attack here. See how they'd like to block. Right, they didn't. That's good. You are gonna block? I don't think they might, but they didn't. This is a really good card. I don't... I wouldn't really like to get rid of any of these right now. So we will... We can just fight here with Voracious Hydra. X plus one plus one counter, so it'll be two. That's not enough. It's not, unfortunately. Hmm... Play that out, and then end the turn. 
Mm. I'm sorry, honey. I'm trying to focus, and you're doing a good job of being really good. Thank you. Can I do it yet? Go for it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. When it's not my turn, you can usually... Oh, uh, they're going to attack? Right, I can take this. Let's see if they have anything else. Can you get them? They did not. Okay. Uh, yes. Using lightning strike after damage. I wasn't sure what else they might have had. Okay. First strike, when it enters the battlefield, XL target. Spin that mana. Okay. Not right now. Let's make a big honkin' hydra. Big honkin' hydra. Would you like to press the big orange button in the middle? Sorry. Yep. <laughs> Alright, it's a 4-5. I would like to have it fight a creature I don't control. Um, though I guess I could also have more counters go on to it. That would be interesting. Mm, I think you should do the middle one. The mi Oh, there's only two options, so there's not really a middle. Oh, wait a minute. Put on a non-hydra. A non oh, I feel dumb. Uh -huh. Oh, well. I'm not. I'm glad you think so. Non-Hydra. Well, at least that's more counters for the Ozolith for later on. <gasps> Teferi's Time Twist. Interesting. Um, that doesn't work the way I think they think it works. I think. Although they are about to get a pretty big creature. Game 3 life. And they're going to hit me for 4. And I don't actually have a lot of resources left. Uh-oh, they got rid of the ozolith. That's not good. Not plus it's not. We have the better board right now, but unfortunately, there's a teeny tiny little problem in that uh, they have way more cards in hand. But we definitely have the stronger board. Uh-oh. Yeah, I can't block this. Boom! Why can't you... Why can't you block it? It flies, and even though my creatures are big, they can't hit stuff way in the air. Oh my goodness, it's that, Jace. Interesting. Untap all creatures you control. Very good. Okay, then. Have it I your way. I think you could do it. Yep, I, I hope so. I think you should... Enters the battlefield. Excel target from an opponent's graveyard. Let's see what's even available here. Trample until end of turn. That's not bad. Shatter the sky. Dusk. Oh boy. Which one was Shadow the Sky? Shadow the Sky is an interesting little one. Um, so first I'll start off with Pollen Bright Druid. Let's proliferate. So now it's actually big enough. I can play this. And then what was the other one? It's way over here on the left. Secure the scene. I don't have nearly enough mana for that. First strike. I can use crash through. That'd be interesting. They all they don't have trample right now, actually. Um Alright, inches the battlefield. Choose Crash Through. Alright. Give my creatures Trample. And then time to go to combat, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, we're not really too worried about Jace here. I kind of just would like to end the game. They do have something that says draw a card, though. Yep, they're almost done. They're almost finished. Exactly, yep. But, um, to two numbers, set them to three. 
Mm -hmm. And if they happen to try to kill our board, we can still draw a card with Witch's Cauldron. So we're in pretty good shape. We should be. Should be in pretty good shape. I think we played this about as well as we could have. And if we win, we'll just open the other packs. I'm sure you would like that. Or are you doing your... <laughs> Alright, so they drew a card. They have four cards to work with. And we have a virtual one. We have two ones. We have no cards in our hand, but we can draw one with Witch's Cauldron. Enters the battlefield, create a food token. Okay. So, that works. They create a food token. And they do have enough to get up to six life. But that is not enough to save them. Alright. That is definitely not enough to save them. Okay. Those two attackers. Um, I don't know that I need to here. can wait. Let's see. Nine, four, five. Just can trade. So five, zero, four, two. So I need to, I can sack one of my creatures. Okay. Oh, Heartless Act. <gasps> Heartless Act, Silent Departure. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. And we just win. <laughs> hi ya. <gasps> they didn't even, we didn't even need to attack. They just conceded. <laughs> we won! We won two in a row, Evangeline. You are my good luck charm. Could you come here, please? Oh. Aww. Thank you. As you, uh, sorry, move the background a bit. Right. Go for it. One more time, please. It'll open after one more time. Well, I thought it would. Oh, Hactos the Unscarred. RNG the card. Uh, I guess that works. That rhymes. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, it does rhyme. Alright, so it attacks each combat, and it has protection from every number except 2, 3, or 4 at random. It's, uh, it's silly. Okay, so that's that. Now, time for some more packs. Alright, so I'm going to leave this to you, my good luck charm. Oh! Oh, good! Perfect! Oh my goodness, one of the triomes. That's actually the one I've been hoping for the most, because I only had one. Oh, skipped right ahead. Alright, so what's that one going to be? Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Let's see, when it mutates exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non limb perm... Ah! Okay. Okay, that's pretty silly, and I love it. What's that one? Proud Wild Bonder. Makes your creatures have... Uh, go from having trample to having a uh, super trample. <laughs> Keep safe. It's an owl and a person protecting the owl. A giant owl. And this one is... Shredded Sails. Oh, that poor boat. <laughs> that poor boat. Alright. Let's try another one. Here it goes. Alright, what's it going to be? A little too quick. Titan's Nest. Ooh, that's another good one. That's an excellent card to brew around. What's about that one? That one's a dinosaur. Rawr! Whenever it attacks, if it... Oh, this one right here? You can start talking. Oh! You can finish what you said. It goes from having regular damage to first strike to double strike. It's pretty silly. I like it. And then, Light of Hope. She does a few different things. Gain four life, destroy target enchantment, or plus one plus one counter on a creature. That's that's a decent card. I like it. Would you like to... Oh, that's an elephant. That's a big ol' elephant. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yep. Here it comes. Oh, and one more time. One more time. Oh, a mythic wild card. Because I don't have plenty of those How already. Ivy Elemental. 
That's pretty neat. What? Glimmer Bale, Glimmer Bell, and Glimmer Bale. Donuts could. Yes, and that's a good card too. What is it? It lets you draw two cards Ooh, for one mana. Yep. Come on, last one. All right, here we go. Oh, Fox, Mythos of Nethroi. Destroy. Okay, creature. If it's a creature, or if that was spent. Okay, so it either just destroys a creature or any non-land permanent. Uh, if you p spend that mana on it, which is okay, that's pretty all right. What fox, Ralph? Oh, there's a fox. <laughs> one of the best foxes in the game, if not the best fox. That one. This one is a beast. I don't know what it is. It's like a crazy-looking wombat. Mhm. Mm oh, this is an adventurous impulse, exploring. Oh, this is called a boot nipper. It's like a animal with a tongue with a mouth inside of its mouth. It's weird. Oh, it's a unicorn. I like that one. I think it's pretty. <laughs> Me too. Would you like to um, Would you like to open some more? Mm -hmm. Make sure I don't have any daily deals. I do not. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's see. I really like Ikoria. It has some cards I could still use, and especially the Triomes. So I'll get a couple of Ikoria packs, but just two. Two more. May May I open one, please? Yeah. All right. And I'll open that one. Uh -huh. Hey, can I do the last one of teamwork? Teamwork, okay. Oh, that's my third ruinous ultimatum, <laughs> but I only have two of the triumphs. Fire prophecy. It looks like an eyeball. It's a person's eye, except it looks like there's fire, like they're seeing the future. That's an otter. That's an animal. That's a different animal, you, which you wouldn't think would have fangs, but apparently it does. And there's just a regular old crustacean. It's a crab. And that? That's a human who's uh, raising flying dog things. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know what those are, but they're coming up out of the swamp. All right, so teamwork on this one. One, two, three. Close enough. Very close. All right, wait, 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 wait. All right, pacifism, snare, essence. Hey. All right, here we go. Do it again. Oh, Everquill Phoenix. Okay. I think that's supposed to be like a card that sometimes shows up in mono red if it's not like Cavalcade. But that's pretty cool, Evangeline. That's pretty that's cool. That. Snare tactic. They use these ropes here called snares to try to uh, catch other creatures to keep them from attacking or blocking. And passivism is where they can't attack or block. Passivism is, you know how it's not fighting. Passivism means not fighting. And that's a scorpion! Ah! Don't get, don't get poked. And that's a called essence scatter. You see how it's like turning into butterflies? I guess that's what it does. It turns them into butterflies. And that guy's hair is flying away. His hair is melting. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say that is. And then, uh, unbreakable bond. These two really, really like each other. A lot. Like a trainer and its animal. I guess. All right, that's it for now, I guess. And that means that the grand total here is I have 15 mythics, and I don't really feel like spending them on anything. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess come next standard, I could just immediately have the best deck by spending a bunch of them on whatever's, whatever's good. Mm, all right, honey. Oh, yep. Mask kiss. Mask kiss. Oh, <laughs> you're so special. Can I show off on Mascus? Yes, we'll show off again. Oh, Mascus. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, she's focused. She's in the zone. All right, that's it for it for now, everyone. Take care, Magic Community. Uh, we will see you. Oh wait, wait. Um. Hey, everyone. We're going out for chili dogs. <laughs> bye. <laughs> that's what Tails says. <laughs> I did. All right. Bye bye. Try to be bye Sonic. Bye bye. Oh wait, you could be Amy. You know what Amy says. Oh, hi, Amy. Bye. <laughs> She knows exactly what Amy says. 
Oh, oh, just like that. Okay, so she was saying she wanted to show off some happy moments. So, working on it. There we go. We have a heart. We have a heart. <laughs> and you have a bunny on your shirt. You have a bunny. You have a bunch of bunnies. You have bunnies all over your shirt. You know what else you have? What? A tickle. Plants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. France. France? Oh, yeah, it says, uh, Le Bunny. <laughs> and Le the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> 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 you are so special. <laughs> oh, playing with my hair? It's not as fun as it used to be. It's not, but there's some kid walk walking around with my hair now, so it's worth it. I'm walking. <laughs> and you're rocking around. Yep, there we go. <laughs> I'm walking. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. Hey. Bye-bye, hmm. oh. everybody. Bye -bye. Would you like to get it this time? <laughs> okay.